everyone welcome back to my channel today I'm back with a brand new DIY video for you and it's actually something a little bit different I'm gonna be testing something out because I'm not even sure if this works yet so basically what I want to do is I want to create an edible oobleck so I have made oobleck here on my channel before and you all loved it I did it as a science experiment oobleck is basically a liquid or a solid science experiment if you are excited to see if edible oobleck is going to work, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up for me. Also, make sure you hit that red subscribe button down below so that you can become a unicorn. Come home, my little unicorns. Come join the most magical family on YouTube. Alrighty, I'm super excited to get on with this, so let's get started, shall we? So for this DIY, you're going to need some powdered sugar. You will also need some water, cornstarch, and completely optional, but where's the fun in not having any food coloring? So to start this DIY, you just want to take one cup of powdered sugar and empty that into the bowl. Then to your powdered sugar, go ahead and add in one tablespoon of cornstarch and then go ahead and mix those two ingredients together in your bowl. Once you have those ingredients mixed together, you just want to go ahead and add your water into this. This is half a cup of water and I put a couple drops of blue food coloring into this just to give it some color. So now we're just going to go ahead and gradually add that in. You don't want to add it in too much because you might not even use the whole half cup. So just go ahead and add it in and stir it in little by little. Now I did add some extra food coloring straight into the oobleck itself just because I wanted it to be a little bit more vibrant so you just do you boo and you go for the color that you were going for, okay? Now if your oobleck is too runny just go ahead and add in an extra tablespoon of your cornstarch and just go ahead and do that until you get the perfect consistency or if it's too hard then you can just add in a little bit more water. You do you again, it's totally up to you because it's not a set measurement to make oobleck honestly, you just kind of have to play with it until you get the right consistency. And this here is the magic of oobleck. As you see here, this is the perfect consistency. It looks like it's liquid, but when you like mess with it, it's just a solid. It's very weird. So like the science behind it, I explained it in my actual oobleck video. It's that the molecules are condensing when you like squeeze it together. So it turns into a solid and when it's at rest, it actually separates. So that is why it looks like a liquid as well. I have personally made oobleck a couple of different times and every single time I make it I just think it's so wild. Alrighty I guess it's time now to taste the oobleck and see what I think. I'm not even kidding when I say that I regret making this blue because I love like blue food like blueberry and blue raspberry flavored things and so my mind is automatically thinking that this is going to taste like blue raspberry and I'm like salivating at the mouth and I can almost smell blue raspberry it's very weird and I know that there's no blue raspberry in here because I know that all I put was blue food coloring, but that's what my mind's doing. My mind is playing games with me right now, y'all. But I'm gonna taste it for you. I'm gonna grab some of this. You see how hard it is to actually grab a piece? A thumbnail picture. <laughs> But look, it's flowing. <laughs> uh uh, I can't, I can't do it. Uh uh. Uh uh. Oh, it's soft. Y'all, it tastes like chalk. Like, I, it tastes like, um, it tastes like chalk. I don't, I can't do it. Okay, I'll try one more time for y'all. I'm gonna try to actually bite off a piece and eat it. I can't. Okay. 
hurry up. I'm just gonna go for it, y'all, okay? Too weak. <laughs> Ooh. Mm -mm. Okay. Mm -hmm. I got it. It's not good. It really isn't. I mean, you can add extract and flavoring to this if you want, and maybe it'll taste better, but honestly, the texture is disgusting. It feels like chalk. Like, uh, what are those little tablets called? Like Tums? If you've ever taken a Tum before, that is what it tastes like, and those are nasty. Alrighty, well that was pretty much it for this video. I really hope you all enjoyed it. I would definitely say that this did work. However, it didn't taste so great, but it does work. I mean, it is edible and it is oopleck, so I mean, yeah. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to help brother out and give me a thumbs up. Also, make sure that you subscribe to my channel to become a unicorn, and I will see you all next time. Bye!